top menu has different elements that are useful to know. The first thing is the sticky menu here. It is sticky because wherever you are on the page, it will stay on the top. So you don't need to scroll back up to access it. The first element on the sticky menu is the course catalog. The course catalog allows you to navigate to the different sections of the platform to access courses or pages. The next item is the dashboard. There is already a video on the dashboard, so feel free to watch it to have more information. The next element is the My Courses, which is individualized. It shows, same as the course overview on the dashboard, the courses that are currently in progress, past courses and future courses. The next element are the essential links, which gives you direct access to other platforms such as the Guichet Etudiant, Guichet Enseignant, your university webmail, etc. It gives you also access to past Moodle instances, for example to the Moodle instance of 2020-2021. Once you are in a course, you will have access also to this course. This course shows all the elements that are within the course. So the course sections, the participants of a course, the grades, the different activity types, etc. This is useful, for example, if you have several assignments and you want to see them all in one view, you can simply click on it and then you have a list of all the assignments. In this case, there is only one assignment. Another functionality of the sticky menu that might be useful to know is the ability to hide blocks and change your view. Blocks can be displayed differently on different pages. You might also want to hide blocks in case you want more space. But if you cannot see them, then remember that you hit them and you just click on show blocks. Standard view makes your view more narrow or full screen. This is up to your preferences. The next element are the notifications. The notifications are messages that are sent through a forum. You can also access the messages that are sent to you privately. This is very interesting in case you want to message other users on the platform. And the search helps you find messages, but also any user that you're looking for. You can also change the language of the platform, but this will only change it for you. The next item which is also important is your profile. If you open it, you will have direct access to your profile, to your private files, to your media, which is your internal YouTube channel, the preferences of your platform, your notification preferences and the logout. If you click on your profile, you can, for example, by clicking on edit profile, and scroll down, you can upload a profile picture. And then you scroll down and click Update Profile. You'll also have access to your preferences from here and your courses and more options. Another video will explain what the preferences are and the notification preferences. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to ask your Moodle administrator.